Hi, in today's video, we will discuss about media field batch size and media field acceptance criteria. We will be using two guidances for the reference. First one is US FDA guidance for industry September 2004 for sterilized drug products. And second one is Udalex EUNX1 for manufacture of sterilized drug products. So, let us begin with guidance for industry September 2004. First, allied drug products. So, as per this guidance, first and foremost, it clearly mentions that it is the responsibility of the manufacturer that any sterile drug products manufactured by the manufacturer should have sterility assurance. The sterility and quality is the responsibility of the manufacturer, and he must ensure that any product shipped out of the company meets the required acceptance criteria for product quality and sterility for the intended patient's use. So, this is first and foremost clearly defined into the guidance that it enforces the manufacturer, it makes the manufacturer responsible for the sterility assurance and the product quality. Now, coming to the media field acceptance criteria. So, there are three acceptance criteria defined based on the batch sizes, batch sizes of the media field and which is again related to the batch size of commercial production. So, if your batch size is less than 5000 in media field and if you are observing one contaminated unit, then this should be considered for the re revalidation following an investigation. So, you first have to investigate why this one contaminated unit is there, identify the root cause, act on the root cause and then you have to revalidate the media field, you have to repeat the media field. This is when your batch size is less than 5000. If batch size is between 5000 to 10000 and you are getting one contaminated unit, then you have to investigate considering the revalidation. So, if batch size is between 5000 to 10000 and if you are getting one contaminated unit, then you have to investigate and you have to consider for the revalidation based on your investigation outcome. So, if your investigation outcome is suggest that there was certain flaws with the sterile manufacturing process itself, then you have to revalidate. And if it is something which is not linked with your process, then you can conclude based on your investigation. But if you are getting two contaminated units, then you have to investigate, but you have to repeat the media field, you have to revalidate the media field based on the outcome of your investigation. Again repeating, for the batch size between 5000 to 10000, if one contaminated unit is there, then you have to investigate and, and you have to consider for the revalidation. You may or may not do the revalidation based on your outcome. But if there are two contaminated units, then you have to investigate and you have to revalidate the media field. Now, <coughs> coming to the batch size more than 10000, if your media field batch size is more than 10000 and if you are getting one contaminated unit then you have to investigate. It does not clearly enforce revalidation if there is one contaminated unit when the batch size is more than 10,000. But if the contaminated unit are 2, then you have to investigate and you have to revalidate. Again, for the batch size more than 10,000, if one contaminated unit is there, then you have to investigate. But if there are two contaminated units, then you have to investigate and, and revalidate the media field, repeat the media field. This is, this is what guidance for industry September 2004 talks on media field acceptance criteria. Now coming to the UNX1, it states it targets zero growth into the media fields. It is not allowing any contaminated unit. The target should be zero growth. It clearly states that in media field target should be zero growth. If any one contaminated unit is there, then you have to investigate. You have to identify the causes. You have to, once you do, based on your investigation outcome, you have to repeat the media field runs minimum of three. Understand? It states that you should repeat the media field runs, but minimum three. Minimum three are required. It is not that you can take one run and get away. It states that minimum, you should define the number of repeat media fields in bracket it states minimum of three to ensure that your sterile manufacturing is under the state of control to 
ensure that it is reproducible it is repeatedly producing the sterile drug products so this is eu nx1 this eu nx1 is revised in august 2022 and it is getting effective in may august sorry it is getting effective on 25th august 2023 so by then if you are having after that if you are having in media fail failure then you must at least perform three repeat media fails now coming to the after after we discuss this acceptance criteria one more point i would like to discuss is that how many containers has to be incubated after the media fail so all the containers which are filled and which are integral should be incubated means only the containers which are non integral which you know that it can be breached by the external contamination because they are no more integral maybe there is a crack there maybe there is not sealed properly which will allow external contamination to ingress inside the container then only you should reject those containers otherwise all the containers even with any volume variations even with any cosmetic defect has to be incubated so this is very important that you must not reject the container which are integral that has to be incubated now third important criteria what should be the rejection between in media field and what should be the rejection in commercial production so all your rejection in media when this is this is clearly defined in eu nx1 all the rejections which are there in media field must not exceed the rejection into the which are observed during the commercial production for example for specific containers i g f a performing media field in commercial production for a specific intervention you are removing for example 10 containers from the area of intervention and if you are removing 20 containers during media field then this is wrong this is incorrect this must not be done the exactly same amount of container which are rejected during the commercial production only those amount of those numbers of containers should be rejected in media field why by removing extra containers by rejecting extra containers during media field you are eliminating the possibility of impact of those intervention into the product sterility by with higher amount of rejection in media field you are eliminating eliminating the possibility of detection of any contamination so your media field reject must not exceed your rejection which are normally occurring in commercial production this is very serious and company says got warning letter just because of this and this is now clearly written into the eu nx1 that your media field reject should not exceed the rejection which are occurring in due to your commercial production for the same container size now hope this small video will be helpful to you understand that about media fill batch sizes and acceptance criteria hope you like this video if you like you can subscribe to my channel pharmaven thank you thank you very much for watching my full video thank you